This is a Rio Red grapefruit on semi-dwarfing rootstock. If you take a look at the um, videos on the other citrus and semi-dwarfing rootstock, you can see that the uh, Eureka Lemon and the Bear's Lime, the growth habit is pretty strong. Trees reach an optimal height of 8 feet fairly quickly and you can let them grow to 10 or 12 feet with some pruning. However, some varieties of citrus perform very slowly on semi-dwarfing rootstock and that would be all the red and pink grape grapefruits. The fruit reaches good size and there's a great quantity of it. It just takes the citrus trees themselves a very long time to get going. I mean, this grapefruit tree here probably has about 20 good sized grapefruits developing on it. But it doesn't have anywhere near the height of say like the semi-dwarf mandarin that's next to it. Even in contrast these with um, an Oro Blanco grapefruit right here. Oro Blanco is for some reason a much faster more vigorous growing grapefruit tree than the uh, Rio Red or Ruby grapefruits. And we have a semi-dwarf grapefruit here in a 25 gallon tub. It's starting to top out at about 8 feet tall. It's about 4 feet wide. Heavily set with lots of big sized fruit ready to harvest in about 8 weeks. As a note, it's the late September. But again, contrasting its growth habit with its cousin, the uh, pink and the red grapefruits. They just behave completely differently on their um, rootstock. So when you get a uh, Rio Red or Ruby Red, R Ruby Pink, Ruby Red, whatever, grapefruits on um, semi-dwarfing rootstock, realize you're getting a tree that would be about the size of a number 15 gallon standard. However, you won't be pruning it every few months as it matures into its uh, growth habits, whatever you not. So that's a brief contrast in the growth habits of some of the semi-dwarf grapefruits, how they behave on the C35 or trifoliate rootstock.